Well, next month, millions of Americans are in for a special treat. A rare solar eclipse will sweep across the country. Now, on April 8th, one month from today, from coast to coast, people will see the moon slowly move in front of the sun, blocking some of the light there. That's a partial eclipse. But for more than 31 million Americans in 15 states, they'll see the moon completely cover the sun for a total solar eclipse. The contiguous United States won't see another solar eclipse, total solar eclipse, until 2044. And this morning, we're lucky to be joined by a very special guest, uh, flight director from NASA headquarters, Nikki Rail. Nikki, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. So first of all, hopefully I did all right trying to explain uh, what those eclipses are like. Tell us what uh, makes an eclipse like this so special. You did great, by the way. Uh, so yeah, as you said, an eclipse is an incredible event when the moon is going to block out the visible light from the sun. In the case of the April eclipse, it is a total solar eclipse. 31 million people in the path of totality, all the way from Texas up to uh, Vermont. We're really excited to, in addition to having a much wider path of totality, having a longer time for totality. So up to four and a half minutes, depending on where you are for the um, eclipse. So it's an incredible uh, time for folks in the United States to visualize this uh, celestial phenomenon. Yeah, and actually just like one little area of Michigan gets clipped. So yeah, yeah, we can see it. You don't have to drive too far. 45 minutes from us here in Detroit. Now we were treated to another total solar eclipse back in 2017. What's different from this eclipse? How are they going to be uh, differentiated? Yeah, the big difference is that um, the, the path of totality is wider and a bit longer across the um, contiguous United States. Um, and, and given that, with up to 31 million people able to visualize this, a lot more people are going to experience the event. A lot more people are going to see totality um, and have a partial, which a, a pretty, for you all, partial being, you know, 99%, it's pretty darn close to a total eclipse. So it's about as good as you get. And um, having a much longer time for totality, up to four and a half minutes, is unusual and really exciting for this uh, this upcoming eclipse. All right. Now, should we be taking some of the same precautions we did last time? I remember like everyone was trying to find like solar eclipse glasses. Would we need those again? Absolutely. So in the moments when you're transitioning and the time frame you're transitioning in and out of totality, you need solar glasses or a solar filter to protect your eyes. When you're in totality, when the visible light of the sun is really blocked out, you are able to look at the sun with your eyes. However, when you see bright light from the sun, you need to be using these solar filters, solar glasses, or an indirect viewing method like a pinhole filter, a pinhole projector, or something like a colander so that you're seeing um, the light reflected on the ground and not with your naked eyes to protect your vision. Absolutely. Got to be safe out there. Nikki Rail, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Really do appreciate your time and insight. I know I'm super excited about the eclipse.